Hi there, I'm Nabil Murad. Canadian postal codes consist of six alphanumeric characters. They are all uppercase with a space in between. If you have a long list of Canadian postal codes in your Excel spreadsheet, there is no predefined option in the format cell dialog box for fixing them. But in this training video, I'll show you five methods for fixing Canadian postal codes using functions or using a built-in tool or using a VBA code. So let's get started. In this worksheet, in column A, I have a list of Canadian postal codes. Maybe this list was imported from another application, but it doesn't look in a nice way and I would like to take care of formatting this long list. My first technique will be by using a combination of functions, the left and right function. So assuming that this is my postal code, M2J46, this is the value that I can see in cell A2. I'll start by using a left function, and the left function extract a specified number of character from the left side of a string of text. So I'll write equal left, I want to extract from the left side of cell A2. How many characters would you like to extract? I want to extract three characters from the left side. And if I use this function equal left A2 comma 3, this will extract the M2J. Then I want to join it to another part. I want to join it using the AND symbol, the ampersand, the joining operator of Excel, shift 7 on your keyboard. So I'll type equal left A2 comma 3 and a space. Because my original code doesn't include a space, so I'm including the space, double quote, space, double quote, and then I'll be joining the space with a second joining operator to another function that works similar to the left function, but it's called the right function. And as you expected, it extracts a specified number of characters from the right side of a string of text. So I'll write right, a2, comma 3, and this will return the 46. After creating this nice simple function, I want to capitalize everything. So I'll put the whole string in a bigger function, the upper function, and the upper function will take care of capitalizing everything, and this should be my end result. So let's start in cell B2. I'll type equal left, and then I hit the tab key. And you might have noticed that whenever I create a nested function, I don't start by typing the outer function. I start from inside outward. So I, I created my left function and then I join it to a space, double quote, space, double quote, another joining operator and then the right function, hit the tab key. I'm on the right side of A2. I need three characters from the right side. And if I hit enter up to this point, it gives me the M2J and then a space 46. I'll hit the F2 key to put it in the edit mode and very carefully, right after the equal sign, I'll put everything in an upper function, hit the tab key, don't forget to close the bracket after the right function, and then I hit enter. Now I can copy this formula down by double clicking on the lower right corner. And that was the first technique for fixing the postal code. Let's move to another method, the mid function. It's pretty close to the right and left. It returns the characters from the middle of a text string given a starting position and a length. So for the same exact postal code M2J46, I would like to extract from the middle of this text, from the middle of cell A2, starting from position number one, how many characters would you like to extract? Three characters, and that will extract the M2J. And then I'll join it to the space with an AND symbol, the joining operator of Excel, and then another joining operator to join it to a second mid function. This mid function will extract from the middle of the same cell, but starting from position four, I want to extract three characters and that will give me the M2J space 46. If I put it in an upper function as I did before, that will return the nicely formatted postal code. Let's start, equal mid, and then I hit the tab key, I want to extract from cell A2, from position number one, I want to extract three characters, and then I join it to a space, double quote, space, double quote, and then I'll be joining the space to a second bit function. This one will extract from position number four, 
and it will extract three characters. If I hit enter up to this point, I would have fixed the postal code, but I need also to capitalize everything. So I have to put it in the edit mode F2. And as we did before, I click before the first mid function and I'll put everything in an upper function and then I close the bracket at the very end. Always the closing bracket in a nested function is black in color and it appears bold for two seconds and then it becomes regular. I fix the first postal code using the second technique, the mid function, and then I'll hover over the lower right corner, double click and send it down. And that was my second technique for fixing the Canadian postal code. In my next technique, I'll be using a third function, the replace function. And the replace function replaces part of a text string with a different text string. What you need for the replace function to work is to specify the old text. And my old text comes from cell A2. What's the starting number to start the replacement? I would like to start at position number four, which happens to be number four here in my postal code. And then how many characters would you like to replace? If I type a positive number, one will replace the four, two will replace the four and T, three will replace the four, T and six. But what if I type a zero? That's a tricky way of using the replace function. As if I'm not replacing anything, so it will put whatever I type next for the new text, it will put it before my fourth character. Let's see how it works. What would you like to put as a new text? I want to put a space. So I'll type equal replace. What would you like to replace? My old text is one cell to my left and then I hit comma. I would like to start the replacement at position four, but I'll use the tricky technique to insert before position number four so I type zero, I want to insert that position zero and look at the screen tip, what does it say? What's your new text? My new text is a space double quote, uh, space double quote. I close the bracket and hit enter and look at that. You would have inserted a space. Now I would like to capitalize everything. So I hit the F2 key, click to the left side of the replace function, put it in an upper function and don't forget to click at the very end, close the bracket and hit enter. And now I can copy this formula down by double clicking on the lower right corner. This is like a workaround the replace function to insert without replacing. And I did insert a space before the fourth position of my text. My next technique for fixing the Canadian postal codes is relatively new to Excel. It was introduced for the first time in Office 2013. It's a beautiful technique called the flash fill. And the flash fill technique simply copies the pattern that you create in the first entry and it will continue replicating this pattern. Let's see how it works. So I have the same exact column of postal codes and in cell B2, I would like to fix this. So I'm going to type M2J space 4t6 and now I hit enter and I would like to copy the same exact pattern down so I'll go to the data tab and I'll be using this new tool the flash fill technique when you click on flash fill look at that it's magical it copies the same pattern to the entire list let's do it one more time I'm going to type m2j space 4t6 and this time, instead of clicking on the flash field, I can use the shortcut Control E. And here is the same exact result. I'll show you one final method of using the same exact tool, the flash field. I'll delete the entire column and I'll type M2J and then a space 46. And I'll hit enter this time as soon as I start typing the first character of the next postal code. Look at that. Excel looks at the pattern above and offers to continue it to me. All what I need to do is to hit enter. The flash fill technique is a nice and quick technique without the hassle of creating a formula and a function. And then for my last technique, I'm not going through that in details. I created a VBA code in which I declare two variables and I'll be looping over each one of the cells in my range. The advantage of a VBA code is that it enables me to fix multiple ranges simultaneously and it will fix the postal code in place. So let's run this code that I assigned to this shape. 
So if I click on fix postal code, it will ask me where is the range that you want to fix. So in this input box, I'm going to click and drag to select the range that I want to fix. And when I hit OK, it fixes the postal code in place and it displays a message box showing me the number of postal codes that have been fixed. I can do it one more time. I can click on my postal code, select the range that I want to fix. Maybe I don't want to fix the entire column. I just want to fix this selected cell. And when I hit OK, it fixes the postal code and it displays the message box. Five different methods for fixing the postal code. The left and right function, the mid function, the replace function, the flash fill technique, and finally, by using a VBA code, Thank you for watching and see you in our next training video.